Although it sounds romantic and makes a great TED talk, the truth is that not all entrepreneurs hate their job. Some genuinely love what they do and find it fulfilling. But in some instances, in the course of navigating life's common annoyances, entrepreneurship finds you. This is what happened to Marsha Gandhi, founder, chemist and one-woman show behind made-to-order natural skincare brand The Raw Rebel. In her early days, she had a steady job as a writer. But like many of us, Marsha had struggled with everyone's worst enemy at one point, acne. I had really bad skin growing up and um, I tried a lot of different store brands. I even went to see a pharmacist. I tried liquid antibiotics and some of them, they worked for a while, but then they stopped working. So that was quite frustrating for me. It was also during that time where I decided to give natural remedies a go. So I actually blogged about it. Uh, this was during my college days. My sister seeing those pictures on my blog, she was like, you know what, you should make it and sell it. I'm sure people will buy it. Once she realised that her skincare experiments were yielding positive results, Marsha decided to part ways with journalism and instead made it her calling to spread skin confidence. I didn't think too much of it at that time because I wanted to be a writer. So um, I actually went on to pursue a career in writing. It was also during, while I was writing, that um, I sort of fell in love again with skincare and beauty products because I used to do a lot of reviews. These days though, the pursuit of beauty is a complicated one, with many skincare brands boasting a mile-long list of tongue-twisting ingredients. Marsha decided to have none of that in the Raw Rebel. In her own words, all her products contain no nasties. After that, I decided to go back and make more natural remedies and, you know, mix and match stuff on my own. And it was through that that I decided to actually give this a go and create a brand out of it. But this does not mean Marsha had fully detached herself from her old gig. In fact, she put her inner logo file to work, with names like Buff Aloe Soldier, Bewitched and Glow With The Flow for her skincare, and equally funky ones like Heretic and Hairway To Heaven for her hair care range. It actually came up because uh, of my love for words, I would say. I'm a very big reader and I love wordplay and things like that. So. Anything that can, you know, make me smile should be able to make someone else smile as well. Still, Marsha's wordplay goes beyond just humour or simply sounding cool. In an era where many of us are told how we should dress or how we should look, the Raw Rebel wants to upend all that. I chose the word rebel to signify something that's non-conforming. I would say a lot of brands out there cater to the typical sense of what it means to be female and a woman in this world. And um, I wanted something that stands out and um, that people would actually look twice. You know, you would actually take a second look to see what I'm actually trying to say, yeah. And while the Raw Rebels products are for all, Masha admits there is one group she hopes the products will speak to louder than others. Getting into skincare and into self-care was a journey on its own. And uh, you know, when you're young and impressionable, there's a lot of things that you also read and see in the media. So it's very easily, very easy for somebody to get, you know, influenced by that. You know, when you have bad skin and, you know, yes, insecurities and, you know, when you get comments from loved ones, from, you know, strangers and stuff like that. So, yeah, this is an extension of what I hope to help other people with, which is to take care of yourself and to actually, you know, love yourself, yeah. As Raw Rebel's sole full-time employee, it is no surprise then that Marsha is involved in every aspect of the business, whether it is getting down and dirty in her own beauty laboratory at home, consulting pharmacists on picking the right ingredients, or upping her own skincare game. I enjoy being a part of each step of the process. So if anything were to come up, if customers have any questions, I am able to answer them to the best of my ability because I know 
how each step is supposed to go and what is happening and with who at you know at any given time so it gives me a sense of personal pride and to be able to do that when in my case i would say i am actually aspiring to do that so to actually get a diploma in skincare for now because i have a team that i work with pharmacists and consultants and stuff so i actually have that scientific backing covered considering her products are bespoke masha runs the raw rebel only on instagram as it makes more economic sense but will the brand eventually expand the plan is to get a website done because the more i increase my range the the more muddled it might seem it might be for customers to actually find what they're looking for and uh, down the line it would be to have a physical store